Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Monster Hunter Frontier Z. Well, not really much of a Let's Play, but uh, there's a, f a few things left for me to showcase on here. I know I say that a lot, but how else should I actually, like, say it out? Say it out. Like, you want to see this? Come on over here and take a look and, and, and see what you haven't seen yet. I don't know, I kind of struggle with uh, how to uh, describe things sometimes because I have a lot of anxiety issues going on IRL and it makes me feel a little bit like this. It's like, how do I go on? But anyway, I want, I, but anyway, I'm willing to do, I, but anyway, I'm willing to do, I'm willing to do just that. So, uh, two things before we eventually, or may or may not, begin a Reviente quest in the caravan. First, to start off, take a look at this. This is the area of where you can decorate, uh, this room right here. I'm not quite sure why you can't really decorate your own room except for the, uh, except for, I don't know, like, uh, changing the background in your room, which also requires points, but I'm really low on those. But, uh, but part for the course, this room right here allows you to, like, uh, decorate anything you want. Well, you know, just like, uh, just decorations to place in this, in just, just decorations to place in this room. Just uh, decorate this room however you want, and just arrange things however you want, even though the controls for actually decorating is asinine and, and almost impossible to control. It took me like a whole, took me like a whole night just to just to get everything placed the right way I wanted to. But anyway, if you have enough uh, materials to craft these uh, to craft these decorations in the pink guildy store, you can create this uh, create this uh, little. Uh, Akura Vashimu Tail Chandelier decoration right here. An Espinas uh, head hung on my wall, just to express of how much, just just to express my hatred and how much this guy pisses me off. This is uh, this uh, bookshelf right here was here in the first place. Uh, this uh, <coughs> human-like statue place right here. You got an Akura Vashimu uh, placemat or Akura Vashimu carpet. Not quite sure what this is, but I'm guessing it's some kind of uh, wardrobe of some kind. Oh yeah, you can also sit down wherever you want to like uh, take a closer look at everything too. Well, like just press circle and then you just magically sit down and just bring out and and, and just pull them and magically pull out a stool for you to sit on. What are you gonna do with this? This is gonna be extremely hard for me to control because uh, this is what you do. It's gonna go press triangle or whatever it is. Or, no, it's like, like I said, like I said, the controls for this is very, very clunky. So you're just going to go press the uh, square button to, like, uh, change the angle from green, red, or yellow. So apparently, uh, just, uh, so apparently, uh, having the camera, uh, I mean, the camera, like, switch to green allows you to, like, go left, right, and forward on the, uh, on the analog control stick, but the arrow keys allows you to just like pan up and down and left and right. This is where things get really, this is where things get really awkward. Oh my god, I can't go forward because uh, this blue one allows me to just go straight up and down on the analog stick, and left and right just goes basically the same as basically the same as the green one. And the, I mean, literally the only time where you can actually like turn around the camera is when it. And turn around the cameras when you're like using this. Oh my god. Okay. So yellow one. What does this do? It works the same as the arrow key function, but uh... yeah. Oh my god. This is so freaking awkward. I always have to like. Uh... There are two directions. There are two directions to move the freaking camera on this thing. Yellow is useless. So uh... I want to go forward. There we go. Went forward. I'll just press the circle. Do I, I? I can't. I can't do the right control stick. Just like a, go like this. I have to. I have to rely on the top. On, uh, I have to rely on the arrow control. All right. Anyway, so just click the, click the thing up. I can't. There we go. There I got it. Uh, do I have any uh, decorations on here? No, I don't. But uh, I could just like uh, buy one decoration, real quick if I actually wanted to. Okay, how do we get out of here? Oh yeah, just press the triangle button. 
This board on here is pretty much useless. It just tells you to. It just tells you the instructions of what this place is about. Yeah, just decorate this room however you'd like. It's a really neat feature, but it's not really all that useful. It's just for fun. I'm pretty sure you can actually like uh, place decorations like outside of this room in Mezzaporta, but uh, for, but 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 as far as but but if I'm but from all I'm aware of, I'm pretty sure that it's probably like Z Zenith exclusive or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, just, uh, wait, that's the wrong option. Somewhere over here is where you can, uh, somewhere over here is where you can, oh, right over here, right here. The uh, second to bottom, uh, the second to last option in the pig guildy, this is where you, uh, get your, um, this is where you get your, uh, this, this is where you get your decorations from. And, uh, obviously this is just, obviously these are the, the these are the, uh, this is the furniture, not decorations. Furniture that I have uh, purchased right here. So this is like the cell furniture right here. ED, whatever this is. I I, I honestly have no idea what this is. But there's like four red circles. Press, press, press confirm and press yes or no to do something. I don't know what it does. Top option is what you need to select on. I'm not quite sure what I'm not quite sure why there's two options for Zenny and other two options that have other things. So just press the first option and press either of the three will uh will uh will uh will will have different types of furniture in in each option uh each option allows you to purchase different types of furniture first option i get i get these there's where i got the uh, aqua Shimu chandelier i'm guessing that's a moss wine chandelier given the uh, given the texture or something it's just a placemat of some kind i don't know what it does but uh second right over here some kind of uh, some kind of idol mask thing, symbol, pictures, sword and shield, basket, foot, just armor stuff. Third option, it has more. It's it, it yeah, it just shows more of those sealed caskets and wardrobes. I'm guessing. Well, you can actually like a uh, place a different. Uh, you can also place uh, more. <clears throat> go place more. Uh, tables if you want to so I'll just purchase the table doesn't really matter I'll take this one but it also requires moss materials so apparently unfortunately I can't get I cannot get them I I I, I, I cannot get this I cannot get this table because I don't have enough materials to make it so yeah there's a, a lot of uses of monster materials more than actually crafting and uh, crafting and decorations and stuff weapons decorations and mar armors you can also make them to make furniture and uh, also to also use them to feed your hawk and use them to uh, use them to cook certain types of food and guild in, in goop cooking, which we get to eventually. And yeah, a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Oh, it looks like that the red one means that. Uh, okay, so okay, so okay, so the red text I'm guessing means that uh, insufficient material. It looks like or not. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. I'll just go on to the second option and see see what changes over here. Okay, that one says remains the same. Looks like there was like a third option displayed on there for some reason. <clears throat> they have a Tigrex head, Lavasiov head. I would obviously, I would, I would genuinely love to have that hung on my wall in Generations Ultimate and any other mainline series game because Lavasiov's a complete fucking joke. Hypnocatrice. I don't hate them, Nocatrice. They're neat. They're neat birds. They're pretty birds. I like pretty birds. All pretty birds are cute. All pretty birds are nice. They're very nice. Except Zenith and Nocatrice because it's just a toucan. Uh, what is this? Okay, by the looks of the design, it looks like something that's... Looks like something that's, uh... Looks like something about Yamasukami stuff. I don't know. I make four of them. I'll just take one just, just for now. There we go. I'll purchase that uh, weird lamp thing. Yeah. I don't even know what any of these uh, stocks are. Look like some kind of candle stands or something. Torch stands. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just... Wait. Ah, crap. I don't have any materials to make any of them. So, so much for like... Uh, 
discovering of what these are, because I don't know. <clears throat> this looks adorable and wholesome. I'll take one. There we go. And go on to the other options right over here. Uh, something to hang on your wall. Oh crap, third option. More caskets and uh, that looks pretty, but uh, I'm not gonna go buy that. I'm pretty sure that's a, I'm pretty sure that's like a Boldrome pelt. Yeah, I think it is a Boldrome pelt. It's interesting though. Oh uh, yeah, okay fine, I'll get, I'll get the Boldrome pelt because I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah, yeah, it is a pelt. Or it's all sprawled out like that, it's all flat as a pancake. Do I have enough materials for it? No, I can't. That's uh, that's that that's that, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Okay, then the last option with more stuff. What in the hell is this? Apparently, I can get like a lot of them, so I guess I'll just take one. Take one of those weird ass looking mats. Fourth option here: more caskets and more pelts. Unless the materials change. Oh yeah, the materials change depending on the currency that you use. Okay, so I'll take that. Oh, hardcore bulldrome pelt. Like place that yeah, pelt. Yeah, they're, they're pelts, right? I I, I don't know. I, I I struggle to figure out of what of what things are called sometimes. But anyway, got all that furniture. So let's go back to the uh, decoration room <clears throat> and place them however you like. That process that that hopefully will not take as long. Because again, I really fucking hate the, the controls of placing furniture. I imagine that it might have been... Okay, I'm not gonna actually gonna go... I'm not, I'm not actually gonna say that. But anyway, I digress. Got all the, uh... Yep. Got all four pieces of the furniture, so, uh... So take furniture, place them. And there we go, here we go. This is the... Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do I... Oh, okay. I always have to use this. To rotate it. Use the right analog stick to rotate? No, you're just like uh, moving your furniture all the way to that direction. Oh my god, going up and down when it's- Oh my god, this is so bad. I hate the controls of this so much. It doesn't work for me. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, all right. No, 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 go back. No, no, no. Go back. No, no, no. No, no, no. Go back. There we go. There we go. Green. No, green. Okay, so green to turn around. And I guess I'll just put this in a place places in the center. Yellow to just rotate your furniture, that's all it really does. Okay, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's not just put on the just put on the wall and defy all physics. Because why the fuck not? Rotate that to like a perfectly in the center right over there. Actually like a perfectly aligned in the corner. And place. Or well, which one was it again? Oh. Just, just press the uh, analog click thing. Press the analog click thing. Yeah, that's a totally good way to say that. Uh, ah, yeah, I was right. It is a hardcore, hardcore bulldrome uh, pelt. Uh, just zoom out. Just go up. Go up. Wait, why? It's freaking gigantic. Holy shit. Uh, go, go, go all the way up, and then, and then just go all the way down. Okay, zoom out. I can't zoom out. Nobody can do that, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can, like, uh, rotate this around. No, no, rotate. No, no, rotate. Rotate the thing. Oh, my God. Who made... Who designed the controls of these... Who designed the control... Who in the hell designed the control of these of this feature? It's so bad. Oh, my God. This is... This is so awkward. To, this is so awkward to get used to. I, I'm never gonna get used to this. But, okay. All right. All right. Uh, move that a little bit here and rotate right here. No, 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 right over here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna go put this directly on the center. Okay, okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, put it to yellow. Rotate that. No, 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 no. Right there. Here, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. And rotate right over here. So face directly at. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Just make it look like that. He's like staring directly up on top of the. Uh, just stare directly at the. At the. If I can actually see it, it is. Hold on. Just take a little over here. Uh, okay, just make sure it's perfectly aligned. Hold on, just rotate a little bit. There we go, there we go. Okay, move, okay, move back. No, 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 that's backward. No, no, no. Green, activate. Green means back. There we go. Why? I hate this so much. Okay, all right, rotate it. 
rotate the yellow just a little bit and then just go there we go there we go there we go we're getting so there we go there we go perfect got it okay good okay we're good that's enough suffering for right now but it looks like that looks like we have to continue on with the, with the rest of this furniture i'm i'm sorry but it it's it's really hard to control what is this oh yeah it's a little uh palico treasure box ship prop furniture and it's really wholesome to look at uh okay zoom out zoom zoom out zoom out okay okay or, or just go up there no, no, no. That, that's, that's going forward okay blue blue means up right yeah there we go there we go there we go get back over here get oh my god fuck these controls oh my god it just this just like freaking making controls of placing furniture is the job all done if it works it works don't d doesn't matter if it's clunky or not it works it just works no it doesn't it's so bad i can't I can't, enj I, I am not finding, I am not getting any enjoyment of just, I'm not getting any enjoyment of this feature if the controls are this bad. Like, sir, oh my god. You literally have to constantly switch colors just to do one simple task. Alright, 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 alright. I, I, okay, I know exactly what to do now, sort of. A little bit over here, rotate with yellow. Rotate with yellow. There we go. Where should I put the... Oh, I, th I have an idea. I have an idea. Put it right over there. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's good. Make it my little... Make it my little uh, decoration room. And then... Uh, don't, 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 just, 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 just... Don't lock onto me. Lock onto the box. Wait, what? This arrow? What? Okay, so it's the okay. The center plus does it isn't actually like the pointer. It's the thing that I'm controlling, like an arrow, like an arrow cursor. That's kind of dumb. Okay, what is this now? What, what what do I have on me? What is this? Where is anything? What happened? What is happening? Do I have? Do I have anything? What happened to what? What happened to that other piece of furniture that I had on? What happened? Where? What happened to what? I think I might have like thrown away something for some reason. No, I didn't. But it's some something's gone. Something just disappeared. Something just magically disappeared. Go forward, you stupid thing. Obviously, most of these. Uh, Obviously, most of these uh, options over here, like, has to do something with, like, move, arrange, like, uh, make furniture sets or something. But, yeah, here we go. And just go directly in, directly right through this hardcore bull, bullfango pelt. Actually, a bull drone. Oops. Bull drone. My mistake. I mean, what, what difference does it make? It's just a bullfango that's more larger and they still ram you 24-7. People might think this is really cruel to look at that you can actually like uh like make a uh, monster pelts to make furniture out of them, but honestly, I have no problem at all because Bulldrome and Bullfango are a fucking nuisance, and this just gives me this just, this gives me life. Seeing Bulldrome and Bullfango made into pelts honestly gives me life because they are annoying as fuck. Same idea with Espinas hung on my wall, perfect as it should be. I could give I could give less of a shit what anyone else thinks about Espinos because seriously, every single Espinos is just a complete nightmare to fight, and I hate them so much. Even nor even normal Espinos, both low rank and high rank, they're fine. But in G rank hardcore, oh my god, they're literally just a bunch of pricks that won't leave me alone. Anyway, so yeah, that is the uh, decoration room. Or whatever this room is supposed to be called, but uh, yeah, it's a really neat feature either way with stupid as shit controls. But yeah, that's but yeah, that's basically the whole entire premise of this area. Just 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 uh, get enough monster materials and create furniture and decorate this one area, or possibly the or possibly somewhere else and uh, possibly somewhere else in Mesoporta, but I'm not sure. Anyway, another thing, Gook quests. Give me one more second. I mean, just give me a couple minutes, so I'm just gonna go bring up the guide and read through the, uh, process, the procedure of how gook quests work. Just give me a second. Alright.
All right, let's open it up. Let's go start a gook quest. Obviously enough, taking these quests allows you to uh, get an egg from this quest and put it into the gook farm and wait for it to hatch. And Boland and Pill are, and, and and Boland and Pill are the only uh, gooks that I have so far. Always have been the only gooks so far that I have like raised and quote unquote created because you get the egg put it there and just wait for it to hatch there's only two gooks i have so let's go so let's go so let's go get another gook and i'm probably gonna go uh wait for uh and i'm and and, 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 and i'm probably expecting the uh, egg to hatch as soon as i'm done fighting one reviente because that's exactly what we're gonna do next but uh still need to I still need to like have a couple people to like uh, start the quest for me because I don't know how it works. I don't have the patch. But anyway, select the guildmaster and select this option right over here. Pretty sure it's the first one. That's the wrong option. It kind of sucks every time when you press back, you just like exit the menu of the guildmaster entirely. Pretty sure it's like the second quest, second option. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Third option. Hold on, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just, I just haven't memorized this. Oh wait, never mind, I found it. Bottom option right here. These are the gook quests right over here. So yeah, let's go take a gook quest and uh, select your color. Let's see. I'm obviously gonna go have to choose the ones on the uh, on the very top because the because the <laughs> because the ones on the bottom are more slightly more difficult to follow so here is how a gook quests work for the quest you simply need to cause the monster within the quest to drop a shiny the methods are detailed below after this simply return it to the base camp and deposit it in the red box the supply box for these quests contains mega juices and sleep throwing knives which will make it easier to handle which, which makes it easier to handle the returning part after you successfully deliver the egg and return to town, go back into your farm and talk to your manager again. Master his text and return to the guild master, blah, 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 so on and so forth. So anyway, basically, what we're supposed to do is take either one of these uh, selected quests on the very top, because I have no idea what the requirements are on the bottom. So I'm, so I am uh, beginning to, okay, I'm thinking of getting a black colored gook this time so in here we are supposed to um stun a daimyo hermitar with a sonic bomb while it is guarding i'm not quite sure which uh, uh, okay i'm i'm not quite sure of which level of uh this is going to uh like uh, okay okay obviously it's, it's it, 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 it takes place in Hunter Right 2. So get a black gook, you're supposed to uh, stun a Daimyo Hermitar with a sonic bomb when it is, w while it is darting, when it's using withdraw. And when that happens, it'll drop an egg. And it will stay on there until you pick it up. But uh, be careful because, because gook eggs basically work the same as every other egg delivery quest. Pick it up, don't roll, don't fall to a high place, the egg will shatter. And that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of gruesome to me, honestly, because uh, it's like, oh no, okay, okay, I'm just, oh, okay, I'm just on my way to deliver my child, and then it just falls out of your hands, and you break it, and you're a terrible parent. Go, go back and start all over again. Hopefully, it's gonna be much more easier because all it takes is just use a sonic bomb when, uh, just use a sonic bomb when Diamond Herbertar is guarding. But the other, uh, <laughs> but the other ones on on the top and on the bottom, not on the very bottom, has as you need to do this. In the jungle, you're supposed to use simply just use a sonic bomb when you when you and Cuckoo is enraged. And the, and the second one is when you're basically supposed to break the Kongalala's tail. Basarios, cause it to leap out of the ground by doing what? I'm not quite sure how that works. Use a sonic bomb? I don't know. And this is the this is one of this is the one of how I got uh, Boland, the blue colored gook. Get it to charge into a wall in Area 8, and it'll drop an egg. Not quite sure where the egg comes from, but it just magically spawns as soon as, as, soon as you clear that certain objective. And, 
and as soon as you see the egg, put that monster to sleep. Or kill it. Or kill it, because, uh... Because, uh, problem solved, you know? Oh wait, never mind, I forgot. In Goo Quests, you pretty much have a standard low rank armor and weapons to uh, start these quests. You can't really like uh, start these quests with the equipment you have right now. You just you just need the you just need to have you need to use the equipment and weapon that the quest gives you. So let's go take this one on the uh, in the middle. Giddy Black Goo. What the hell should I name this guy? Uh, I'm just got myself a um slight yeah I'm just gonna take this one slight defense. Wait no. Higher, higher, uh, pretty sure that's, uh, defense or offense buff. Wait, no, wait, no, no, wait, no, that's an offense buff, my bad. Uh, right over here, right over here, this is the defense buff, right over here. And there we go. <coughs> We're gonna go inside the, uh, desert. Not quite sure, not quite sure where I can find the, uh, uh, not, not sure, where, not quite sure where I can find the Diamond Hermitar, but all I need to do is, like, uh, Full and hot drink. Let's go. Oh yeah, I'm right. Can't be getting so many materials that it just just keeps on going to just going keeps on going to the left and right. Uh, Mega Dash juice is on here to get more of those just in case. And just in case if I ever run out of Sonic bombs, I'm taking more. I'm just I'm just just getting as much as I just getting getting as much as I need. So yeah, let's let's go uh, begin the procedure of Gook quests. Japanese are called gukus, I think, and uh, honestly, it's it, honestly it just sounds much more uh, fun and adorable to just to, just to say gooks, because they're just they're ducks, they're cute ducks, and I love them. They're they're cute as cute as can be, and I love them so much. We all right. Ah, luckily the uh, uh, low rank uh, standard uh, specifications indicate that, uh, like, j I mean, just give me the uh, location of the monster immediately. Just to, it, it's just there to make things a whole lot easier when you're like struggling in like uh, low rank uh, stuff. If you don't know where the monster is, you just have to pay attention. Just, it, it, it just displays it for you. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna go wait until Diamond Hermitar is guarding. Good thing it's a low rank Diamond Hermitar because it's because it's no longer gonna be act like a crab, like this it's, it's no longer gonna do crab stuff. So I'm just gonna go wait until it guards, which shouldn't take that long because uh, Diamond Hermitar guards pretty frequently. Was my alarm going off again? Hopefully it didn't guard when I was just like muting my phone. Yep, that's it. Just a normal, uh, just a normal low rank uh, diamond hermitar. So I'll just wait until I don't know. Just attack it a little bit and just, and just wait for it to guard. Not quite sure when it's gonna do it, but it, it just takes some time. It just, just it, it just does it whatever the hell it wants. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I do have. Uh, oh okay. So uh, apparently I do have extreme style on here. So we. I think I should probably like uh, like not like focus on attacking Diamond Hurtar as much. So I guess I'll just kick him to death and just and just beg him to uh, eventually use his guarding move. I don't have any skills equipped on me. This is just a, this is just a basic low rank hunter. Oh my god, he just won't see. Just won't, he just won't guard, will he? I'll just continue kicking him until I'm just continue kicking him until something happens. Ow! I'm trying I'm trying to dodge that, but uh, six frames aren't enough. Nope. I just got hit by his claw. Uh oh, he's digging. Come on. Show me your shell. Show me your shell the same way that Zenith Diamond Hermitar always uses. Or I'll hit you for it. 
think it was in Rage that time. Come on. You know you want to. Just get touched by his claw. Okay. That makes sense. Check this out. BAM! No, it didn't work. I thought for sure. I honestly thought for sure he was gonna go, like, jump at me. Where did he go? Is he moving? I think he's moving. Oh, wait. He was just... Oh, oh wait. He was just expecting me to just, like, approach him. Okay. Sure. You do that. Just... Bat. You know, eventually you're gonna go have to use uh, a uh, guarding tactic somehow, like like sometime, eventually. Because I'm attacking you. And... Oh wait, never mind. I, th I thought I killed him. Never mind. It was just it was just my weapon. It was just my weapon sharpness going down. Okay, come on. Where's he going? Oh, he's moving. He yeah, okay, he's going somewhere else. He's going to area three. Huh. Oh, wait, that's probably his resting area. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a good thing that there's no small monsters anywhere in Goop Quest because, uh, that would make, uh, the delivery a hell of a lot more tedious and annoying. I'll BAP you! I didn't want to stun you, like, too hard because you still need to hold, you still need to, like, like, hold up your guard. Come on, do it. Do it like I do. Do it like me. See? Like this. Sword and shield. See? Do it again. You gotta learn. You gotta learn to guard. Come on. You know you want to do it. I'm running low on stamina. Oh, God. He just won't leave me alone. He just keeps on pushing me rather than guarding. Come on, Dimey Hermitar, you know you want to. Yeah, he's digging, come on. I was like, bat. Come on, dude. I guess I'll just keep on attacking until, uh, and, and keep on attacking him until he eventually guards. Might be, might be damage based. Let me just do, like, 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 do it until, like, keep on attacking him until he eventually guards. I was, I was trying to do, trying to block. Yes, got him! Got him! Now, where is the egg? Where's the egg go? Where did the egg go? Where is the egg? I, I can't find the egg. I don't think he dropped it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Or maybe, or maybe just, or maybe he cracked it. He probably cracked it. I, 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 I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Okay, okay, just block that. Or just like, hit him there. Come on. I had it. I literally had it. Where'd he go? Ah, he's going back over here. I hope it. I, I, I hope it didn't hit him too much to the point where he, to the point where he might end up dying. But still, where did that egg go? Let's be fair. It is pretty dark, so I can't really see it anyway. This supposed to like like uh makes me like a uh, use it like directly in front of him, like. Like just use it directly in front of Daniel Hermitar when he's when he's guarding. All right, I'll do that. The first. Bah. Oh, look, there it is right there. There it is right there. There's the egg right there. Awesome. All right, so uh, next up is uh, throw a bunch of sleeping eyes and put the fucker to sleep and deliver that egg. Careful, be careful, it doesn't break. Got him. All right. Now, get this egg. Unknown egg acquired. All right, let's go. Where am I actually going? That's the question. Oh, yeah, I know exactly where I'm going. Right over here. There we go. Got the egg. So uh, just gotta be extremely careful to not drop it 
anywhere, and hope my and, and, and hope to God that and hope to God that that that, that some of the that some of the uh, places that I have to like I don't know move anywhere are blocked. I don't want any places. I don't want any shortcuts to be blocked. That would suck. But luckily it's not. So uh, we got the egg with little to no we, we we got the egg with little to no hassle at all. And we can just uh, deliver it straight in the box and just uh, continue on and, and 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 just continue on with the good quest. That doesn't mean it's necessarily over. Hopefully nothing was behind me that time. Okay. Right. Careful. 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 This is my <laughs> I'm carrying my special child. I must protect it at all costs. There we go. Egg delivered. A job well done. I deserve a well night's rest. Ah, nice. I wonder what I should actually name my uh, black gook now that it's uh, been successfully delivered in the red box. Like something completely random doesn't really require all that much thought. Like something at the very top of my head, honestly. Oh, honestly, the honestly the goop names that I honestly the goops that I that I've nicknamed were just at the top of my head. I, I didn't really care. And I get golden eggs. I get golden eggs for clearing goop quests. That's kind of cool. There we go. So on to the next. So on to the next thing. After you successfully de deliver the egg and return to town, go back to your farm and talk to the and talk to your manager again. Master is text and return to the guild master. Select the goop quest section again and you should only see one quest to deliver blueprints. Despite the quest information start despite the quest information stating one, it's actually five. You get the items from simply beating up the main lakes wandering in any zone. So yeah, you're supposed to like uh continue going back and forth between like both the uh gook farm and the guild master to like uh eventually get one gook. In your gook farm. So now that I've been, so, so now that I've actually got the gook, at least I think. I'm not quite sure what the heck. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that what, what the uh, mistress just gave me. And it's just like a enter and just go back un until that egg actually appears. Or maybe I kind of messed something up. I'm not sure. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. It's like it'll magically appear as soon as I go back inside the gook farm. I guarantee it. And there we go. I was right. Boom. It's like, um, JBA, you gotta come see this. Um, uh, you gotta see this. You gotta come see this. Uh, 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 you gotta come see this. A gigantic white shaking egg appeared like, like uh, 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 appeared out of nowhere when I was just minding my own business. Must have been a gift from the gods. But yeah, here we go. There's the gook egg. Interact with it. The information. Dot 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 probably means that it's uh, not even close to hatching yet. Okay, so uh, up next we're supposed to uh, talk to the go master again and select the goose in gook quest section one more time and it'll just display... I'm guessing more of these quests. What happened to the other? Oh, what happened to the other five? That's a little bit strange. Well, apparently, uh, apparently the first time when I did gook quests, delivering uh, five of those tickets by hunting a bunch of melinks and, and like hope to God they actually drop those tickets from shiny drops and deliver it to the guild master and talk to the and talk to the uh, farm manager again in order to actually have something uh, like I don't know happen in the gook farm like associated to uh, the egg that you've delivered I'm pretty sure I don't have to do that anymore it's just a one-time thing it's like the goose gook quest section again you should only see one quest to deliver blueprints despite the quest information stating one it's actually five 
Enter your farm to talk to his manager, then exit and enter again. Your manager will shout at you to tell you that he has transformed his kingdom of trash into a bed for the child he is fathering for you. That might be a fist's uh, words, not the uh, not the translation of the uh, of the goof manager. Go up to the egg and interact with it. Select any option for the first, and then for the second, choose first normal. Oh, go up to the egg and, and, and interact with it. Select any option for the first, and then for the second. Choose first normal size gook, second smaller size gook, and third larger gook. So you can pretty much like uh. Have a small, big, or very small gook uh, when you have an egg. So you decide on what kind of gook you want to have and customize them however you want. But actually, like a that actually like a getting the outfits. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to get the rest of the outfits, but Boland, I accidentally set his hair on fire at one point, and I got an achievement for it. I I I don't I I I don't I don't know, but. He looks stylish. So he he looks stylish like that either way. Kind of looks like DJ Grooves almost because of the afro and he's colored blue. He's so cute. Meanwhile, a uh, pill is being pushed back by the cat farm dude. He's got like, some kind of a uh, locket around his neck and, uh, and 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 a yellow shirt. He looks so cute. All of them look so cute. It's all I have. It's honestly all I have to decorate them because I would love to give them a top hat and a tuxedo and make them look like that they're look like make them look like them that they're in a marching band. I would genuinely love to have that, but no, I can't. Uh, this right over here is Gook cooking. Uh, maybe it's the second option. Oh yeah, here it is. Here, okay. Here's Gook cooking. Actually, I'll just uh, cook. Uh, I'll cook. Oh my god. I'll cook something random in G rank and just and just try to look for anything that has um, anything that has a bunch of fucking uh, blue materials, like a hundred more than a hundred of those things, because uh, those materials are actually the uh, hardcore G rank Daragua materials. Just to get myself to like guild rank 800. Oh my god, it, it was a nightmare. I f Honestly, hunting that thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, day and night, just to increase my rank, has officially made Durago of like one of my least favorite frontier monsters. Because the grind is so annoying! But it's worth it in the end. It really is. But anyway, where are the Duragua mats? You can't really miss it. You legitimately cannot miss the Duragua materials. Look at that. Look at that. I have 972 scales and 754 claws just by carving and earning rewards from that fucking thing. So just so yeah, just put those monster materials to good use and just just create items by goop cooking. Now I don't want to use 97. Wait, you know, fuck it. Just use it. Let's have 97, 97, 90 fucking seven of these scales. Get rid of them somehow. There we go. Perfect. I'd like to have nine. I'd like to use ninety-seven of these scale scales for uh, goop cooking. So hey, here we go. Come on, come on, bowling. Go on top of here. Goop cooking is not what you think. You're not cooking the goop. He's just on top of there for whatever reason. And there we go. That's the cutest thing ever. I got ninety-seven claws and ninety-seven whatever from goop cooking. But, uh, don't, I don't really want to end up, uh, seeing, uh, a gook having its head on fire, uh, when you, uh, fail to, uh, cook food with gook cooking, but, uh, luckily I have a clip saved of that in my, in my, in, in, in my PS4, uh, uh, video storage, so, yeah. But now that I think about it, 
Good cooking might be a way to multiply monster materials. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what the benefits are, but uh, it's got to be something useful. I don't know. I, I legitimately do not know anything about it. Or anything about these things that uh, the uh, farm manager gave me. Got those Sonic Bombs that for the Diamond Hermitar. I'm destroying these, destroying those. So yeah, all that's left is to uh, simply wait for this egg to hatch. And apparently I can't really like uh, interact with it to uh, change the size of the, like change the size of the gook because uh, I press back at one point. I'm not quite sure why. Either that or I'm supposed to like uh, enter and re-enter and talk to the guild manager again to like uh, do that ticket, ticket gathering quest or something. Probably, probably not. Nah, nah, not, not really, not really. Once you have the egg in your farm, that's all. That, that's all. That, that's all it takes. But just to make sure. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back inside one more time, and just to uh, take a look on the, uh, just interact with the egg and just like to see the. Just take a look at the, you know. I can't. Okay, I, I just get it's getting weird, some weird. Um, W weird pop up every time I want to interact with it. I interact with it once, but I press back, and now I can't look at the options again. So yeah, so much for uh, changing the size of your gook. Looks like that uh, black gook will just have to wait. I'll get a normal. I'll get a normal black gook. Also, there's a chance of getting. Uh, also, there's a rare chance of you getting a different colored gook, like a rainbow gook, and like a. And a um a, a rare gook. Chances of that happening? I'm not quite sure what what the chances are, but uh, rare gooks and rainbow gooks uh, pretty much have the same premise as shiny Pokemon. It's just a different appearance that makes them more special, and it's cute. Okay, let's go take a look at uh, what uh, what colors have changed on uh, on my caravan gem. All right, so uh, I'm pretty sure like the uh, bottom. Uh, like the very, uh, okay, the second to last one that's light blue. Pretty sure that's Elder Dragon. There's one for Bird Wyvern, Fang Wyvern, Flying Wyvern. How many Flying Wyverns are in this fucking game? Too many! Uh, Brute Wyverns, Carapacians, and Piscine Wyverns. Whatever else there are. Something to increase my, uh, Caravan Gem color. For the color grind. What's my Caravan Gem color right now? Green. So, Hunt, I'm guessing the Flying Wyvern and the Pipe scene, I'm not, I, I don't know the symbols. I don't know the symbols. I guess I just, like, looked them up my own time. So, if I hunt either two of those monsters that are, that are labeled green, green would increase by, like, one point. Or more, I'm not quite sure. But, anyway. So, yeah, next thing I'm going to do... I'm going to uh, notify a couple people on the Frontier Z Discord server, or notify one person because he agreed to help me out on this, and start a Rabiente quest. Keep in mind that uh, these things are very long. Well, well, physically, they are long and gigantic. I'm not quite sure if they're more gigantic than Dolomater because... Uh, he just stands there on a, on a pinnacle rotates around and just looks at you and just shoots beams and casts meteors and coils around like a snake. Raviente is... I mean, in comparison to Dalamater and Raviente, Dalamater, you only see, like, its gigantic head and a part of its body. Raviente, you see the entire thing coiled up around you. I'm not quite sure what it does, but I guarantee it's going to be something devastating. Roars are loud, quakes are loud, I'm pretty sure they, cause, they, they create tornadoes and launch fireballs at you. Normal, normal, and violent Raviente are are, are 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 basically the exact same thing with no given difference aside from the music and their appearance. But let's be real. Pretty sure the reason why that uh, like uh, me and like uh, like pretty sure the reason why like uh, a lot of people wanted to uh, like uh, eventually see the uh, the see normal and violent Raviente is like I don't know like listen to the music in game and possibly just like or like or like just like basically like. Same idea with me. Just fight all Revientes and just, like, experience all of them. 
There's hardly any footage of normal Reviente anywhere, and, uh, and, and, and then the only things that I've seen are, like, older versions of Frontier of Reviente fights. And it's very long quality, and all you see is a gigantic wall of snake, like, uh, being shown for, like, uh, the entire quest. Because you rarely, because you hardly ever see its face. Because you're mostly focused on hitting it. Like, hitting anywhere. Tail, body, scale, head, and put it to sleep and sedate it. And, like, do anything to just prevent it from doing anything so eventually kill it. And it's a very long, thorough process to take down Raviente. And it's a lot of teamwork. But, but, uh, luckily, normal and violent Raviente are lower ranks. Are on the lower ranks. I would, so, it is actually possible for me to solo a Raviente and a violent Raviente without any hassle, because Zenith armor, Zenith weapons, but except Berserk Raviente. No one would be ever able to solo one gigantic snake that can, that can, that can eat you. It can eat you and burn you alive and electrocute you and vice versa. A lot of, a lot of freaking geysers shoot out from that guy. And Berserk Raviente lives up to its name. And it is literally required to have a bunch of people to take it down. You can't fight a nor you can't fight a Berserk Reviente alone. That's literally impossible. Normal and Violent Reviente, on the other hand, are. But I just want to like have a couple people in here to like speed up the process, because I'm not quite sure how much HP these things have. So anyway, until then, I will uh, be right back and just uh, give the uh, some people the A-OK -okay that I'm ready to fight a Reviente. Well, looks like I'm uh, only able to solo them because, uh... Most of the people aren't really interested to uh, fight any of the low slash high rank Raviente quests, so... I guess I'll just, uh, solo both normal Raviente and violent Raviente. It's not gonna be that hard. Really, it's not. Anyway, I'll be right there. Alright, so I guess we just have to wait until uh, Eric L uh, just uh, gives me the uh, A-OK -okay that uh, he's ready to uh, start the quest for me, so I'm able to do it myself. Let's go give him some time until uh, he's uh, finished logging in, and uh, either that or he's already in the caravan area right now, so I guess I'm just going to go inside there right now. Too bad I'm not able to uh, like, uh, join caravan. I'm Too bad I can't really enter... Uh, the caravan in like a uh, different server because this guy always says no you can't why because you just can't go to a different server you pleb fine all right so i'm in the different uh, <laughs> all right so i'm in a different server and uh we have entered inside the caravan area once again where do we start obviously i'm just gonna have to uh talk to this lady of the bonfire to start the quest but uh i guess we're just supposed to wait until uh Eric Hill enters inside here. I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing, like, a uh, multiple groups of people can enter inside this place since I'm the only person here. Because you don't really have to, like, uh, have some kind of uh, requirement for people to actually join this caravan area. It's like anyone can enter at any time, apparently, so. Yeah, that's cool. All right, still waiting for him to uh, enter inside here, so, uh... Either that, either that, or he doesn't... Or <laughs> either that, or he has no idea where I am. I'm gonna go back inside. I'm just gonna go back out to the Mesoporta Guild and just, take, and just look for him there. Where is he? Erica, where'd you go? I think he might be getting himself ready. I don't know. Also, I changed my weapon to uh, the uh, Diva uh, Dual Blades that I've earned from the Diva Quest line, upgrading uh, to level 50. Uh, upgrading to level 50 was a fucking nightmare because of the, the materials required to like uh, like upgrade G-rank weapons. Upgrading G-rank weapons is a chore, and I hate it. Just make Zenith weapons, hunt a lot of Zenith monsters, and uh, and like uh, and like uh, earn upgrades there. And too bad you can't really buy mater can't really too bad you can't really buy uh, Zenith materials and uh, in in like uh, too bad you can't really buy Zenith materials in, in the store anyway. But anyway, here he is. Thank you, Erica Love, for being such a kind lad. And yeah, here we go. 
So I guess I'm just supposed to wait for him to, uh, like, I don't know, approach uh, the Lady of the Bonfire to, like, start the quest for me, because I legitimately do not know how to start it off. I'm just waiting for him to, like, uh, type in something, like, uh, in the chat, or possibly, like, uh, or possibly something on Discord, because, uh, yeah. I don't even know, it's daytime. Ah, daytime and fighting Rabiante, this ought to be good. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're just getting himself ready. Alright, let's go. Uh, how do I, how do, okay, okay, how do I do this? Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, wait. Oh, whoa, shit, it looks like that we need, actually, it looks like that we need more people to start, uh, a Rabiante quest. Ooh. Um... You need four people to, uh, start, to actually start a Rabiante quest, so this is gonna take a while. If this doesn't happen, uh, before that time, I'm guessing I'm gonna go have to, uh, wait another day or so to continue this showcase. Okay, so he's asking me if I want to fight a normal or violent Rabiante, and then I said, I like to fight a normal one first. Because, yeah, it's high-quality footage of uh, fighting the Red Snake. Fighting the Big Red Snake. I'm more ideal than fighting the Hangry Snake. That's literally... Literally the only difference of uh, Violent Reviente is uh, music and appearance. What makes him violent? He's just starving. That's, that's the reason why they... That's the reason why they call him Violent Reviente, because... He's... He's hit the brink, uh, he, he's hit a state of starvation, and he's become a lot more violent. He wants to eat a lot of people. He just wants to eat a lot of stuff, eat a lot of things, eat a lot of living things, and just... 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 Fill himself up, I guess. Okay, joining is just the first option. Okay. So, uh, talk to her right over here, and select the first option. Join. Join a Rabiente. If I... If I... I just... Join Rabiente. There we go. Uh... I'm a little bit cautious with this. Like, uh, joining is just the first option when, uh, when, 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 uh, when starting, when joining Red Into Us. So I'll click yes. All right, so I, uh, all right, so I joined the, uh, and I just, uh, pretty much just cleared a, uh, objective for doing that. All right, so, uh, looks like that we, uh, got the quest. So now what? I joined the uh, Revante quest, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to like go directly at the uh, go directly at the uh, board or something. Once we have once we have four, you just go out the gate every phase. All right. I'm not, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that he actually told people in the server that he uh, like wants like. Two other people, two other people to like start this, to, to like start a Raviente. So, I guess you have to wait a little bit, a little bit longer until, until we get two more people to help us out. That isn't, that, that is uh, until, uh, that is unless uh, nothing bad happens while, while we're at it. Alright, looks like that uh, we uh, hit the hard ad in the stick chat and uh, two more people are willing to help us out. So uh, we still need to wait until they eventually log in and uh, just come on over to the caravan area. So we wait. That was the wrong freaking emote. Oops. I meant this. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Much better. Much better. Looks like this person just decided to just customize his character as 2B from from, from, from Nier Automata. I guarantee that is definitely Nier Automata uh, themed armor or skins. The fancy looking longsword as well. I'm not sure what kind of longsword it is, but I'm guessing it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, um, something about Espinas, I don't know, but you just need one more person. There we go. Alright, I got one person on here, now we just need to wait for the other. Okay, well we're still waiting. One other thing that I'd like to show on here. You can actually change the background on your guild card depending on how many monsters you've slain. It's gonna go 
press the uh, middle button on here and just and select the and select the uh, middle option right over here to like uh, change the background to anything you want depending on if uh, you've unlocked it uh, or not so right here I have a uh, hawk background over here there's the uh, one of the gook it's too bad that you can't really like move the uh, selection out of the center stack so they take a look take a full look of what the background looks like you just have to equip it straight from there a lot of simplistic uh, backgrounds over here uh, one with the cat version of those are rookies yeah those are the rookies this is the one that I had currently and if you uh, slay 100 of one type of monster, you will unlock you will unlock the icon for that background. So, for example, if I wanted to hunt, I don't know, 100 Harado Medigu, I would automatically unlock the Harado Medigu background. Of course, the only of course the only monster background that I've unlocked so far. Is this motherfucker right here? Obviously, cause who doesn't love grinding on cactus? Everyone loves grinding on cactus, day in, day and night, just to uh, just to increase your like a uh, guild rank to 800. What's what's the reward? The Ragwa background. Oh, you're so kind. But for whatever godforsaken reason, there is no unknown background for whatever reason, and that pisses me off and saddens me at the same time. But to uh, but to uh, take a look of how much a monster that you've slain, let's go t just a uh, just a count of how many monsters you've slain. Go to the last option, and it'll display it, it'll display it for you. I've killed 123, well, quote-unquote, killed 123 main links. Main links, these are just the small monsters, who cares about those? One purple Gypsaros, 20 of uh, Gypsaros over here, 21 Noctrees, two breeding season Noctrees, one silver, yeah, you get the idea. It'll display every single monster data that you've, that, that you've done, depending on if you've got a silver crown large or a gold crown large, and the description of the, of the monsters as well. And how many that you've killed in total? And I've uh, faced every. I, I, and, and 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 so far, I have faced almost every single monster in this game, except for Exotic Baryoth and uh, and Red Lavasioth. Well, faced, but I haven't killed. I I I I I I have not killed two monsters yet. So Red Lavasioth and 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 uh, Exotic Baryoth are, are the only monster that I've not killed yet. And whatever this is, oh wait, I'm pretty sure that's Shen Gao Ren. Yeah, that's Shen Gao Ren. I haven't like uh, killed shit. I, I've not I've not killed him yet. Oh yeah, also, I have also not uh, killed or even showcased at all Ashen Lao Shan Lung. It's the only monster on the list that I completely forgot to show in Hunter Rank 5, and also Lao Shao Lung is basically the same. Same area as Shen Gao Ren, but it still walks, and it's red in color. This is just, this is just a whiter, grayer Lao Shao Lung. Pretty sure that's Yama Sukami right over there. Pretty sure that's... Wait. I don't know. I honestly, honest to God, don't know how many. I'm not sure. I don't know what the, what the question marks are. I'm guessing it's the. Uh, I'm guessing it's like a, a contour, Yamasukami, uh, Kudai, Fatalis, and uh, and Shengo Ren. Those are the only monsters that have a question mark written, written on them. I'm not quite sure what this is, but yeah, that's pretty interesting. Every single one of them is just displayed on here. There's 137 monsters in total. 137. Well, not in, well, well, obviously not counting the uh, not counting the small monsters or the Zenis or Zenis, but yeah, it's cool either way. Very nice information. Anyway, still waiting. Well, unfortunately, it looks like that we're going to go have to wait a different time in order to start a red and take quest. So, uh, until then... Yeah.
We waited far too long, so I'm just gonna go have to wait until like tomorrow or possibly next week to like start a Revy and take West, so yeah. Just gonna go have to wait until that until that time arrives, so I'll see you around until then.